This green thicket full of life and color welcomes us to the most beautiful gift nature has to offer its flora and fauna that entirely depend on natural resources to live. Mbagadi River starts high up at Kerarapon at the border of Kiambu and Kajiado counties. As it streams down through various other towns and counties hundreds of kilometers, it undergoes an astonishing transformation. The water is as clean as it can get here at the source. With this pool of water also used for spiritual purposes by some African religions in the country. It's a nice place, there's a very nice pond. It's looking like a natural jacuzzi, although the water is cold. But uh, this is where the people are baptizing. If you come here during weekends, especially on Sundays, afternoons, there's a beehive of activities uh, from uh, religious uh, denominations from all parts of, 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 of Kajiado and Nairobi. The stream is guarded by a huge vegetation made up of giant trees like the fig trees, commonly known among the Kikuyu community as Mugumo, and is highly revered when it comes to offering prayers in the community. This sparkling, moving, clean water is one of the main sources of River Mbagadi, and Masa is called it Enkongui Empakasi. And this same water finally ends up in the Indian Ocean. But unfortunately, in less than 10 kilometers, as this water goes downstream, it gets contaminated. Our journey started right here as we followed the passage of this river through various counties. Just a few kilometers from here is Ngong Town, where one is welcomed by a choking, filthy smell. Here, we get slapped by Mother Nature's disappointments. This is what streams down to River Mbagadi. This is not water, but raw sewerage from people's households and commercial buildings in Gong Township. Some buildings have actually been built on this tributary and our sources tell us that there are underground drainage pipes from the permanent structures that are directed to the river with the terrifying illegal activity taking place in the wee hours of the night under the cover of darkness. If you come around here at 7 onwards to 11 at midnight, this would be flooding with the sewage water, with the sewage waste. And I'm sorry for the people who live around next to it because I know it affects both children, both women, especially the elderly ones who are left at home. And so this is a, this is a big problem we are facing here, and particularly here in Rongai. This heap of garbage sits on a once wetland area, as locals tell us, with the rubbish ending up here due to lack of enough dump sites in Gong Town and other areas in Kajiado North. For the locals living around, this has been dreadful. Gong Town has a sewage line. It was in the 70s, and I'm sure it was uh, built in 1970. It was Na percentage ya iko ya wananchi ni saidi ya mara 10 ama mara 20 ya ile ilikuwa kwa 70s. The water from the tributary at the source and this water polluted with raw sewer from Gong Town finally mix as it passes through Mbulbul. And this is the meeting point and the one from Gong is a pure sewer and the stench can actually kill. Residents here could not help but recall the beautiful memories of the river that they once cherished and ate from. Tulikuwa tunaingia kwa mto, tunatoa mchanga, tunatengenezea kwa compound. Kwa hivyo sasa siku hizi maji yaishi. Tunangoje maji maji hizi hata watu wanauliza mvua inyeshi na hii maji inatoka wapi? Na tunapata kuangalia ndani tunapata ni nini? Ni sewage yote iko ndani mpaka tunashindwa sasa tutafanya nini? The locals say they even used to come and watch huge crocodiles that scared them from swimming and fishing some years back. But now the same river is hurting their children, breathing in a filthy smell every day of their lives. Mewaja sasa kupanda mbao kwa sawa ya hii machi. Tunana hii machi hata watoto wetu wanafuka kwa hii muto wakienda shura, wanakuwa na shida sana ya migu. Our next stop at Ongata Rongai, arguably the biggest polluter of Mbagathi River, was a shocking experience. Switch TV did a spot check and we found several drainage pipes directed to the river from giant commercial buildings and apartments 
where farmers have cultivated green vegetables for human consumption. From uncontrolled disposal of solid waste to release of raw sewage into the river and washing of clothes and motorcycles at the water source, it was clear that Bagadi River pollution is purely as a result of uncontrolled human activities in the burgeoning urbanization. Rachel Kerubo is a farmer and she uses Bagathi River water for her livelihood project. And we fear like those people are going to get our products, are going maybe to get waterborne diseases. This is a clean water pipe passing through sewerage, a dangerous game being played at the cost of people's lives. This joint is not watertight. This is open to contamination for drinking water. This is a disease in Ugonjwa. mapato <laughs> This is Bangladesh slum in Rongai, located along the river. Residents here have been at the receiving end of raw human waste. Consumption of fecal matter in drinking water can pose some serious health problems, according to health officials. Uh, and these are the questions we are asking ourselves. Are we really civilized? Are we humans being really civilized now? Why are they feeding other people with their own shit? The same river with too much effluent then passes through the Nairobi National Park, where a wide variety of wildlife, including the endangered black rhinos, lions, leopards, cheetahs, buffaloes, giraffes, and diverse bird life with over 400 species call home. It was at this point we contracted an independent water company by the name Clean Water Agency for water analysis tests, and a week later we got the results. According to the investigation, Bagadi River's water at Rongai had a huge amount of deadly phosphorus and fecal matter besides the heavy metals that were also found. And we took samples from the water from this spring, which as per uh, the expectation was clean and very safe to drink. And we took water samples from the same water 10 kilometers downstream in Rongai. Uh, the outcome were shocking. The outcome was shocking. Upon discovering the poisonous content in the river, we tried to contact the Ministry of Environment and Forestry to get their opinion on the sad state of the water that Kenyans are consuming. But our visit and many letters to the Cabinet Secretary and his Principal Secretaries bore no fruits. The Ministry then directed us to the Environmental Body, National Environmental Management Authority, NEMA, whose Director General would later refer us to the Parliamentary Committee on Environment and Natural Resources. We were simply taken in circles. The World Health Organization, WHO, says the lack of sanitation can force people to defecate in the open, in rivers and near areas where children play. WHO further indicates that over 800,000 people die each year from diarrhea as a result of unsafe drinking water, and among them are over 350 children under five years of age. Northern Asia, Middle East, most of Africa, Argentina and Chile, among others, suffer from a lack of fresh water and pollution is the major cause. People and the diseases these people have, 80% is waterborne. In Rongai streets just next to bus stage, we discovered that raw sewers are emptied into the flood drainages through this trench that eventually drains into Mbagathi River. The heavy metals like copper, zinc, lead, cadmium, chromium, mercury, selenium, aluminium, sulfur and boron that were found in the water have some cruel health complications and are considered toxic to humans, animals, fish and environment. 
these vegetables end up having dioxins, a lot of heavy metals. We consume the shit back into our lives. We end up going to the hospital, spending so much money to treat diseases that we could have prevented. Uh, the worrying part of the uh, discharge of sewage water is um, uh, the coliforms, the bacteria. Uh, we found large, very high levels of, um, of E. coli, which are an immediate threat to us as humans. People, specifically uh, youngborns and elderly people with a, um, um, a, a, a natural defense system, which is not okay, uh, they will pass away, they will die, or at least will get seriously sick. The World Water Reserve and National Geographic note that the water we drink today has likely been around in one form or another since dinosaurs roamed the earth hundreds of millions of years ago. While the amount of fresh water on the planet has remained fairly constant over time, continually recycled through the atmosphere and back into our cups, the human population has on the other hand exploded over time. In Athi River area, Machakos County, these vegetables irrigated using water from Bagathi River are taken to the vast Kitengela vegetable market for consumption. Domestic animals have not been spared either. The risk is there, the risks are there when uh, the cattle is being slaughtered and being consumed by us and the meat is not properly cooked or the meat is slaughtered in a, uh, a, a slaughterhouse or in a butchery which does not take care of its uh, hygiene uh, uh, properly. Our extensive journey to the coastal Kenya would see us drive through several counties as we trace down this river of death that snakes its way to Kilifi County. At the border of Makweni and Kitui counties, the same Bagathi would be named Athi River and for residents of the two semi-arid counties, this water is a blessing in disguise. They take it as it is without boiling. We are at the end of our journey in Malindi, Kilifi County. We followed this particular river right from Kerarapon in Kajiado County as Mbagathi River, down to Makweni as Athi River, and finally here in Malindi as Sabaki River. As the third largest body of water in the world and contained vital ceilings that help feed some Asia's largest economies, the importance of the Indian Ocean has long been clear. It is also the warmest ocean globally. Indian Ocean connects four continents, Asia, Australia, Africa, and Antarctica. This beautiful face of nature, however, has not been spared from toxic pollution. Pollution on marine life has been catastrophic in the ocean. Locals say the same impunity of releasing raw waste could be happening since many hotels are located along the ocean, some being very close to its waters. Tuko na hoteli nyingi sana ambazo zimejengwa along the beach. Sa hii hatuwezi jua. Wanatumia maji mengi. Lakini jie swali ni, yale maji mbo wanatumia, ama ulo uchapu mbo wanatumia. Mwishua uneshia wapi. The ocean is also a safe haven for the fishing community around here who are affected by the waste that streams down to the ocean. Tumiwetu utakua uko chini, kwa sababu watu wetu wale, asa wale wabubi. Kile kiwango chesamaki ambacho wanakipata, kitakuwa ni kidogo. Ikiwa watakipata kicho kiwango ni kidogo, familia zao zitapata shida. Kwa sababu pale nipo ambapo, umetegimea kupata chakula cha watoto wao. Wantumia ulo wabubi kupata pesa za kufundisha watoto wao ama kuenda shule. As we wrap up our journey, our hope is that the authorities concerned and other relevant stakeholders, including policy makers, will once and for all deal with the situation with the urgency that it deserves in a bid to save lives and mother nature from further drowning. Safi Godanamamu, Such TV.